Hi everyone, welcome to Rado's Baking Lab. Today I am sharing a delicious treat with you, red velvet cupcakes. It is very simple and easy to make, but so impressive treat for everyone. Before we start, I would like to remind you that if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more recipes. So let's get started. First grab a large bowl and pour the sugar and butter together and start mixing with a mixer. If you use room temperature butter, it will be easier. Once you have creamed the butter, you can add the eggs one by one and keep mixing. Next, add the baking soda and salt together and pour the vinegar on baking soda so it will get activated. Then add buttermilk, vanilla extract and red food coloring together. Mix it well. It will look like your batter split but no panic. It will come together after we add all the ingredients. It is time to add dry ingredients. Sift the cacao powder and flour in the batter and mix it well. Make sure you scrap the sides and bottom of the bowl so everything mix well and lump free. Wonderful! It's time to turn that fantastic red velvet cake mix into a batch of cozy treats. Carefully spoon the luscious batter into your cupcake molds, filling them just enough for a gentle rise. Place them into the warmth of your preheated oven, set to 170 degrees Celsius or 325 degrees Fahrenheit. After about 20 minutes, a toothpick inserted into the center should emerge with just a few crumbs. Leave the cupcakes to cool slightly, their ruby red tops promising a sweet and tender reward. Whereas cupcakes are cooling, we can start making the rich cream cheese frosting. Pour the cream cheese and icing sugar in a bowl and start mixing. When you receive a smooth and silky mixture, add the room temperature butter and then keep mixing till you have a perfect creamy frosting. Fill up your piping bag with desired piping tip and use make your own creation. Keep it simple or go fancy all your choice. I am pretty sure you will have so much fun in this part. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe the channel. It keeps me motivated to share more tutorials. Until next time, keep baking and creating.